All right, Simone, uh, Swifts, they've been a bit of a bogey side for us um, recently and to get up and win, how do you feel today? Um, I'm exceptionally happy. I'm really pleased and I thought it was a really high quality game, a tough game. Both teams, you know, there's a great game and they're bored to watch and but I certainly think that we lifted our performance today and um, which was really positive and good to see. Now you took M Manix off and brought on KD, uh, a fan favourite. And KD smashed it. She what did. are your thoughts? Yeah, I was really impressed. And we'd spoken about it in the week, and she hasn't been on court much. And we often talk about being ready when your moment comes. And I was really impressed and loved the way that she came on there. She had intent and in um, purpose, and you know had a crack. And I, I, I thought that was great for us. And MJ as well. She just stepped up today on her performance as well. She did, but I certainly a focus of ours is being up, is letting the ball go yeah. and moving the ball with a bit more pace and speed. And when we do that, then it's easier to be feeding, feeding and finding MJ as well. So another positive side of our game that worked well for us today. Now I had a quick chat to Lizzie Watson after the game. She said it's probably the toughest match she's played all season. Are your thoughts the same? I, I, it was a really tough game. It was a really tough game. It's a game that was close even though there's little surges here and there but from the start until the finish and and I think that's just the experience that we need but I also reminded them at the end remember how hard it was and how hard you worked for that because it doesn't get any easier from here on so I think that was a really good experience for them to to be in that tight tough hard game on the line play by play I thought that was excellent I thought they in the end they held composure and control quite well and we're already halfway through the season, can you believe it? And uh, so we're we're on top, which is amazing. Um, your thoughts for the the second half of the season and how we'll fare there with lo leave uh, leave loading the loading of players and things like that. Oh, everyone's travelling really well, really well. It's not um, it's not unlike a load that we have like training wise and everything back home. So everyone's travelling really well, but we spend a lot of time on recovery, treatment, massage. All of that is a big part of what happens between now. I think it's Tuesday, um, but it, it doesn't get any easier. It's it, it's tough each game, so we have to be ready to bring our best each game. So I know I've got players that are there that are that are capable and ready. And you can tell that after the game, you were really proud of the team. There were lots of smiles, and you were going around to them individually. I was really proud of them because I think it was just a really important step for us. As you said, they we didn't they beat us three times last year, and and certainly in the preliminary final gave us a good whack um, so I think it was a significant step for it doesn't mean that we're all that now it's just a um, it's good hard fought win thanks Simone hi everyone it's Emily Mannix here and Katie Ann Dehaney after a great win over the Swifts I'm here reporting live um, first time ever so just don't judge me too hard um, but I'm gonna ask Katie some questions first question we won. Yes. How did you find that game and what did you think of our team's performance, KD? Well, for the game today, I was really excited to get on court. I thought the Swifts are very good competitors as usual over the years and it's very good to have that win back over them for, what, a year? Like, I think the last three times we have yeah. lost. So... <laughs> So we good. It was hard coming into this because we knew that they had it over us the last few times. But yes, I think being able to get that win halfway yep. through the season and we hadn't played them yet. So that was super exciting, wasn't it? Yes. And can I just say, KD, standout performance today. I'm not sure. I no. think she saved the day in the end. Did you, KD? No. It say yes. Team, <laughs> it was a team effort because Joe and Kate and everybody it was a team effort. For sure. But it was mainly you. No. Um, anyway, uh, what did you think of MJ's performance today? She was, I don't know her stats. I should probably know her stats coming into an interview. We'll say she got shot at 90%, 99%. Actually, that sounds better, doesn't it? But what did you think of MJ's performance today out there in goal shooter? Look, nothing but the best from MJ. I think she definitely delivers because she's a very competitive player, as you would know at training. So I thought um, she just made the circle easy for everyone to see her to just... Um, just admire dom dominance out there. <laughs> Perfect, great answer, Katie. Um, and obviously, you've been up in Brisbane for 
look, I'm not counting, but I'm going to say coming up to seven weeks. Um, what do you think of it up here? How's the weather? Um, and what are you enjoying about Brizzy life? I love Brisbane. It's better than Melbourne weather-wise. It is. No, you're right. I'm not. I'm with you on that. Kelly. I'm from the tropics, guys. So I'm not. But look, Brisbane has always been my second favourite state. I have to be careful here because Melbourne is number one, you know. <laughs> but yeah, Brisbane is just the sunshine state and I love it up, up here. Perfect answers. Even and though my heater is always on in my room. Katie has her uh, heater on, her blinds closed at all times. And what is your temp usually set to? 28? Yeah. Or 30. <laughs> or 30, which I don't even know if it goes that high. But um, yes, we're loving it up here, aren't we, KD? We're loving all Brisbane has to offer and obviously thinking of everyone back home. Do you have a, um, a message for our fans and our supporters back home in Melbourne that have been cheering us on from home? Yes. Thanks for cheering us on, guys. We had this one for you guys. This one was for you guys, for sure, beating the Swiss. And please stay safe and just abide by the rules so you can get out and go for run, walks, everything, just to hang out with friends and family. But keep safe, please. Oh, we should just host our own show, KD. I think we've nailed this. Thanks, everyone. And Mannix, the myth, the man, the legend, whatever that hashtag is, signing out. (laughs) 